Cobra stuff coming up. Welcome back to the channel, YouTubers. Larry back here, and I wanted to share some news with you. I appreciate you uh, joining me today. Sorry it's been a couple of days since my last video, actually a little over a week. I uh, just got back from a wonderful vacation with my wife down in Yucatan of Mexico. Didn't really want to come back because the weather was beautiful and everything else was too. But we are back, and I've got some news on the Cobra Project. Um, let me show you what we've got so far. Okay, first, as you know, this is my wife's 1968 F1, F100 uh, flare side. Uh, the uh, wire to it there, I've got a battery tender hooked up to it to charge up the battery on it. But what we have done on this truck previously, this was my first attempt at electronic fuel injection. Uh, let me see if I can get in here and show you what we've got here. This is the uh, Holly Sniper. EFI system with their uh, HyperSpark um, distributor and the electron, uh, electronic ignition uh, box and everything. This was my first foray into electronic fuel injection on a car that I've built. Everything else pre previous to this has been carbureted and of course I haven't really been extremely enthusiastic about carburation because I'm not very good at tuning them. Tried this, I have to say, with I've had a few hiccups on it. Uh, blew a fuse uh, the other day and it left me stranded on the side of the road but uh, got that fixed. I'm going to be chasing wires just to make sure we don't have any bare wires or anything. But overall I've been very very happy with this system because it started up perfectly it's tuned great, it was really, really easy to get going, and it runs great. Previously mentioned is the engine that is going into the Cobra, the 351 Windsor-based uh, stroker engine uh, with uh, uh, Dart Pro 1 aluminum heads uh, mated to a TKX Tremec 5-speed transmission. This is the same intake that uh, I went with on my wife's car, which is, or the, the, the uh, 68 as I just showed you. This is a YN Stealth, uh, made by Holly now. Uh, brand new, I was going with a Stealth on this, but after doing much soul searching, I've decided to go with something different. It arrived today, and I am going with the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4 electronic fuel injection. This is a little bit different as opposed to the throttle body type. This has direct port fuel rails uh, and everything I've read about it performance wise is far superior to the Stealth. And I figured what the heck, I've been happy with the Stealth so far. Let's go one better on the Performance Cobra. Haven't even unboxed this yet, so let's do the unboxing now and take a look at what we got. Now this is allegedly an all-inclusive system. It should include the intake manifold, the throttle body, the fuel rails, uh, the ECU, all the wiring, and everything else. Uh, you tune it by hooking it up to a Bluetooth Android device. I think what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to purchase a, an Android iPad type thing, and I'm going to mount it hard into the car so I can have constant monitoring of the EFI when we're driving it. So let's take a look at what we've got here. unboxing. Okay, there's all the manuals. Here is the bulk of the situation right here. As you can see, what we've got here is we've got the throttle body, the fuel rails, all the connections for the hookups and everything. There's the throttle body here, a little bit better look. Uh, fuel rails right here, all your sensor inputs, uh, water inputs, all of that is complete, good to go. I'm kind of digging this, very much so.
see what we got here. All of the wiring for it, including oxygen sensor. All in a nice neat little package. One thing I like about this system over the Stealth is the Stealth is has a built-in ECU. It's inside of the actual throttle body assembly, which is right on top of the engine heat and everything. Edelbrock with this system went with a standalone ECU, mounted out of the way, away from the heat. Probably a little bit better on the shelf life of it. Gasket kit for the manifold itself. More wiring. I believe the uh, oxygen sensor. Oh yeah, there's the oxygen sensor in there with it, and it even comes with a distributor. So the front end of the ignition is all ready to go, and it even comes with the distributor. Very very complete system. I think I'm going to enjoy this very very much. There's the throttle body here, a little bit better look. Uh, fuel rails right here, all your sensor inputs, uh, water inputs, all of that is complete, good to go. I'm kind of digging this, very much so. As you can see, this is a single plane air gap intake, fuel rails, fuel rails connected, there's your throttle body. with the secondaries working. Very nice system. Very happy with this. So in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is, is you're going to see me pull off the YN intake and it's going to be for sale by the way. If you want to check out Facebook Marketplace, I'll have it for sale. Brand new YN stealth intake. I've had great success with those intakes. It's just not going to use it going a different direction. So We'll be moving on to the next thing. Uh, I'll be doing an installation video uh, installing this system. I also have uh, my CVF uh, racing pulleys, the uh, alternator pulley, uh, water pump pulley, and the uh, harmonic balancer pulley, the main pulley for the crank, uh, and the uh, serpentine belt coming that should be here on Monday. So I may go ahead and just shoot a video installing all of that so stay tuned very soon got more stuff coming lots of excitement brewing on this cobra getting it ready for when the uh, car actually arrives thank you for joining me